The acting police chief of Ferguson, Missouri, was right there in the middle of an interview when somebody started shooting. We're explaining to them their rights, and we just want to be as patient as possible. Message to those who are wounded. Wait, go ahead and, and, and keep that sound up because it, it kept ringing out, it seemed like. Cena and Sarah, do you hear that? You can hear her say gunfire. Cena and Sarah Seidner recorded that on her cell phone. She says there were dozens of shots. It felt like forever, I'm sure. We hear the sounds of gunfire as I'm t listening to the interim police chief who has just gotten here about two weeks ago, uh, who's talking about being patient and trying to let things uh, not explode into unnecessary uh, violence and fascinating to all of a sudden see his eyes turn with the sound of gunshots and then everyone was told to get down. Both the police in the streets were told to take cover. They were standing out in the open, had nowhere to go. They had to dive behind their cars. We had police near us that were diving. And of course, the protesters themselves all trying to get out of the way of a barrage of gunshots. Well, also overnight, police in Ferguson shot one man who, they say, used a stolen gun to open fire on their SUV. Police say that plainclothes officers fired on him. They were in the crowd looking for people who were firing off weapons. The police chief of St. Louis County told the reporters the violence is destroying this city. There is a small group of people out there that are intent on making sure that we don't have peace that prevails. I don't know how else to say that, but that's just that's, that's just the bottom line on this. Now, at last check, the suspect was in critical condition. The four officers involved have been put on administrative leave. Now, during the demonstrations, an officer was hit with a brick and we're told that he should be okay. Several peaceful demonstrations filled the streets before the violence. While the demonstrators are calling for acts of civil disobedience today, they urge calm. One year ago, Ferguson officer Darren Wilson killed Michael Brown, and weeks of protests followed. Violence erupted when Wilson was not indicted by a grand jury. Brown's family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against him.